rising from the depths of the sea, an unspeakable horror engulfs a quiet New England town. Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of The Car Quest of H.P. Lovecraft. And, uh, welcome to part two of The Shadow Over Innsmouth. Um... It's 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 pretty good. Um it's not my favorite of the HP Lovecraft stories, but it is also one of the most well-known ones. Um and I think for a good reason because um a lot of it is pretty slow. I will admit. Uh and a lot of Lovecraft stories are pretty slow. But like I don't know. I think cuz I've been like really tired recently. But just, this one took me just so long to read, and I don't know why. Um, even now, like, I almost, like, towards the end, so I just gotta move the, sh move the camera around. Um, move the shot around, I was gonna say. Um, but yeah, like, this just kind of took me a, a bit longer to read than usual. And I don't know why. Um... I think maybe it's because, um, because, like, the audiobooks I've been listening to by Horror Babble, which are amazing, by the way, uh, they are good, but when you hear enough H.P. Lovecraft audios, like, for, like, 30, 40 minutes or so, maybe even cutting over an hour, it's pretty tolerable, like, the prose and stuff, and I've mentioned sort of going in and out of Lovecraft's prose when writing, when writing, when reading his stories. Um, but, dude, when you're, when you're reading almost two hours of a story, a two hour, when you're reading a story and listening along to a two hour audiobook, it does get a bit much after a while. Um, I mentioned I wanted to go more in detail with it, um... Uh, I'm not sure, cause um, I do like the ending. Like the uh, the ending, I think is actually pretty creepy. Uh, it's not as creepy as like the uh, Whisper in Darkness's ending was, um, but I do like in the last like little bit of it. It just it reads like like at first uh, spoilers by the way, um, it reads almost kind of like oh you know it's. It's fine now. I uh, I got a you know it's it's fine now. Everything's all good, n good now. I escaped Innsmouth and everything. And then um, it, it then it it almost kind of does a little mini H.P. Lovecraft story in this larger H.P. Lovecraft story because like the prose then start like the 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 character through the writing like through like the the text of the story descends into madness almost immediately and um just like the last couple of sentences of it are pretty creepy but um yeah um i re i realized a lot while reading this though shadow over innsmouth that um i had heard a summary of it over at overly sarcastic productions which do great videos. I've seen a, a couple of their videos in the past, but uh, they are pretty good. And they actually have, and as I've mentioned, uh, they have done one on H.P. Lovecraft. And they've done one, like a segment in that video on Shadow Over Innsmouth. Um, and I feel like they go into better detail on what the story means and everything. Um, sorry, just kind of a creepy noise. Um, but uh, more than I could, they, they go into better detail on it more than I could. But what I could make out was that uh, this story is how do I put it? It, it kind of makes me a little uncomfortable <laughs> to talk about, honestly. Um, Especially because I don't know how to word it. I don't think I've ever been at a loss for words on how to describe an H.P. Lovecraft story. But, uh... 
I guess that's one of those times where it where I'm actually kind of at a loss for words and and also and or uncomfortable on talking about what the story may have actually been about. Um Let's just say it has to do with humans and fish. Uh getting when when a human and a fish love each other very very much. Let's just put it that way. Um so uh yeah, so do I recommend um I I do recommend you at least check out Shadow Over Innsmouth. Uh, I am realizing more and more uh, this collection specifically, the best H.P. Lovecraft, contains a lot more uh, Cthulhu mythos stories, which is pretty cool if if, if you pick this up, because then you'll get a lot of the Cthulhu mythos stories. And uh, this is part of the Cthulhu mythos. It has references to Cthulhu and Rulier and oh, and also the uh, the things inhabiting Innsmouth are also called the Deep Ones. I'm not sure if we're ever gonna see the Deep Ones again. Um, I'm sure, I know we're going to meet Dagon again, but, uh, yeah, but that was just kind of a little, nice little tidbit. Um, if I were to rank this on a tier list, I would probably put it, uh, low A, maybe B, uh, high B anyway. Um, but yeah, so that was the way overdue two-part review of the shadow over Innsmouth. The next story is, thank God, a, a little bit of a shorter one, and it's called The Dreams in the Witch House. So until then, this has been the Car Quest of H.P. Lovecraft. I have been your host, Andrew Carr. I'll see y'all next time. See ya.